Good day everyone. Let's try to answer some math problem posted on Twitter. And special credits to Master Catriona Ag for creating and sharing this wonderful question. So let's start. Now here's the question. These two circles have the same center. Now the question is, what's the shaded area? Now if you want to try this problem, just pause this video. And if you're ready, here's the solution. To answer this problem, we will use one theorem, which is the chord chord power theorem. Now chord chord power theorem states that if two chords intersect in the interior of the circle, then the product of the measures of the segments of one chord is equal to the product of the measures of the segments of the other chord. Now here's some figure. So in this figure, we have two chords intersect at the interior of the circle. Now one chord split into two segments, which is A and B, and the other chord split into C and D. It follows that using chord chord power theorem, it says that A multiplied by B is equal to C multiplied by B. Now to use this theorem, we need to find the center of this circle. Then we need to create a diagonal like this. Make sure that this diameter intersect to this chord at exactly on the point on the small circle. Next, let capital R be the radius of the big circle and small r be the radius of this small circle. Now the question is, what is the measure of this length? Now surprisingly, it is the difference between the capital R or the radius of the big circle and the radius of the small circle. Therefore, it is capital R minus R. Now at this point, we can now use chord chord power theorem. We have capital R minus R multiplied by capital R plus R is equal to 10 multiplied by 10 plus 5 or 15. So let's see, we have capital R minus R multiplied by R plus R, this thing, equals to 10 multiplied by 5 plus 10 or simply 15. Now the left hand side becomes capital R squared minus R squared equals 150. Now don't forget that we want to find the area of the shaded region. And the area of the shaded region is equal to the area of the big square, or simply pi multiplied by the capital R squared minus the area of the small square, which is pi R squared. Now at this point, we can factor out pi. So we have pi multiplied by the capital R squared minus R squared. Now we know the value of capital R squared minus R squared. It is equal to 150. Therefore, we can substitute the value of 150 to capital R squared minus R squared. Therefore, the area of the shaded region is simply 150 pi. Now, don't forget the unit. We have square units. And we're done.